looking at tools to improve, in particular, our, our cash flow forecasting efforts. I, I'd be no surprise to anybody listening here that, that cash flow forecasting is an area ripe for improvement. And it's also an area that machine learning can probably um, do the most, um, you know, have the most benefit um, very quickly. And so we are looking at that. Um, and a matter of fact, earlier this year, we spent some time, quite a bit of time developing a machine learning model to help us produce cash flow forecasts um, just at the corporate level. So our existing forecast process is a bottoms up effort by all of our projects and business units globally. Um, and to be clear, cash flow forecasting is just one part of the quarterly forecasting cycle, but it's one of the biggest pain points for our organization. Um, not only because it's extremely difficult to forecast cash flows on a, uh, for big projects like we have, where payments and cash flows are very lumpy, um, but it's also just, just a, a challenging exercise, not only to get it right, but just to do it on its own. I'm very happy or excited to, to kind of say that the model, while it was just a proof of concept, um, exceeded our expectations. So the expectation going in was one, to just see if a machine learning model might help us um, in any way, right? Or if it was something that frankly just wouldn't work for, for our company um, in this particular context. But it exceeded our expectations in that it was actually more accurate. Um, again, at the corporate level, very early days, there's, there's a lot more work that needs to be done behind it. But it was more accurate than, than some of our bottoms up forecasts that take a lot of time and effort by sometimes hundreds of people around the organization. The very, very basic model that we produced um, actually produced very positive outcomes. Um, and that, frankly, to me, was very surprising because I'll admit that I was somewhat skeptical going in um, because there is so much talk about machine learning, AI, especially in the finance space. Um, everybody's trying to sell you the latest or the newest um, implementation of AI without it seems really understanding what's underneath that. Um, so I was skeptical going in, but again, very encouraged by the results. And we're gonna, we're gonna keep putting some effort into that to see where we can go with it. 